in this video I want to explain the intuition behind multiplying and dividing by a fraction so the first question is 4 divided by 5 quarters okay so first let me explain that uh, multiplying uh, by a fraction is same as dividing by the reciprocal so let me write that first so this means this is same as writing 4 divided by four quarters now you may wonder how why do we need this there's no need to do this but to explain in the diagram this is helpful so let me explain this how this and this are the same so just i want to explain five quarter and four fifth are reciprocal of each other okay they are if you multiply five quarters and four fifth you get one okay now uh, i'll not go into that so they are reciprocal of each other so 5 goes down and 4 went up so this is the opposite of each. they are also called multiplicative inverse now how can this happen so let me give you an example a very simple example say 4 times 2 all of you should know is 8 I can we write this as a division question 4 times 2 is same as the reciprocal of 2 is the 2 can be written as 2 over 1 okay so the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2. So the same question or the same thing can be written as 4 divided by half. 4 divided by half. So yeah, if you want to answer the question 4 divided by half, you need to think. We know that 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, 4 lots of 2 gives you 8. But yeah, when you're thinking 4 divided by half, you're asking the question. When you divide 4 into halves, you'll get how many halves? So, well, one whole has two halves, two whole has uh, four halves. So, four whole has eight halves. So, this and this are the same. Okay, so let me show this on a calculator. So, menu, run. So, if you go four times two, to slightly move this up, is equal to eight. Or if you go four divided by half is nothing but 0 0.5, so it was zero. Uh, where is my point? This is point 0.5 equals 8. This and this are the same. Okay, so let me uh, give you one more example. Suppose it is say 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. We know that. But since the same thing can be written as the reciprocal of 3 is 1 over 3. So this is same as asking the question 6 divided by 1 third. Okay, so here you're asking the question when you're dividing 6 into thirds, you get how many thirds? So we know one whole has 3 thirds. So 6 wholes would have 18 thirds. So let us check this on a calculator again. So you go 6 times 3 is 18. That's easy. And 6... I'll do like this, 6 divided by 1 ABC3. This is 1 ABC3 or 1 over 3 equal, that's also 18. So that's what I'm saying, 4 divided, 4 times 5 quarter is same as writing 4 times, uh, 4 divided by 4 quarters. So let us understand this in a diagrammatic way. Okay, so yeah. This, you're asking the question, 4, when you divide into 4 fifths, there are how many lots of 4 fifths in 4? So if you want to state this, write this as a sentence, you're asking, there are, there are, how many, this is how you should be thinking, there are how many 4 fifths? in four this is your question okay that's your problem so yeah i've divided this is a pi imagine these are four pies i've divided this into fifth so this is one fifth two fifth three fifth so there are five fifths so my question is there are how many four fifths in four so i'll if i move one one fifth this is four fifth this is i'll move one lot of so this is 4 fifth, second lot of 4 fifth, third lot of 4 fifth, 
fourth lot of four fifths. So there are five lots of four fifths. Okay, so this is one lot of. This is I'll not. You can make this neat. So this is. So this is the one. This is one lot of four fifth. Okay, this is one lot of four fifths. So this is one. This is the second lot of four fifth. This is four fifth. This is also four fifth. This is also four fifth. And this is also four fifth. So there are how many lots of four fifth? One, two, three, four, five. So the answer is five. So this is without doing the maths we have done explaining with the help of an uh, diagram. But let us do the maths. So if you want to do four times five quarters, so we'll do now the maths. How do you do the maths? So four times five quarters. Four times five quarters is same as writing four over one. This is same as writing four over one times five over four, which is same as four times five over one times four. This is how you do the maths. But at times, if you do the maths, you don't understand what's happening. So this is 20 over four which is five, okay, and that's what we got. Uh, why I'm explaining like this is to for so that you understand the intuition behind dividing by a fraction. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. Okay, so the next question is, okay, uh, let me uh, write one question here. <coughs> so if the question is four, let me use a different color. Second question is, uh, 4 divided by 2 thirds, 4 divided by 2 thirds is, uh, I have got, uh, this is 4 divided by 2 thirds, so let me bring the, so let me move this back, so this is, this is one whole, this is one whole, uh, this is the second hole. Okay, I will. So this is the cool. I've got a program which can move parts of a fraction. So this is the third pi, and this is the fourth pi. Okay, so now let me let us un, uh, ask the question. What was the question? Four divided by two thirds. So this is four divided by two thirds you got okay so let me copy this uh, let me cut it from there and paste it here so that's a cool thing so four divided by two thirds is the question okay so here if you want to write this as a sentence this is there are there are how many there are how many Two thirds in four. There are how many two thirds in four is your question. Okay, so this is one third, two third, three thirds. So let me, if you, if I move one thirds, if this is one third, this is one third. Okay, so I'll move this, and I'll move this. So this is. This is a lot of two-thirds. This is a lot of two-thirds. This is a lot of two-thirds. This is two-thirds. This is also two-thirds. So there are how many lots of two-thirds? Without doing the maths, we know there are six lots of two-thirds. So the answer is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But let's do the maths now. So four divided by two thirds. In the last example, I told you, you can change the multiplication. In the last example, I told you, you can change the multiplication to division. For that, you'll have to swap the number around. You have to make this go up and this come down. Okay, four went up and five went, came down. Here, the same argument you can 
you can uh, use the same argument when it is divided by you can change this into a multiplication question but then you have to swap this number around so this is 4 over 1 times 3 over 2 or 3 halves so this is same as 4 times 3 over 1 times 2 which is 12 divided by 2 which is equal to 6.